hey guys welcome back to my channel i am back with another video for you guys so first things first make sure you guys like comment and subscribe to my channel for more videos in the future i am on a roll i am hot with these videos right now so today's video is going to be something different it's going to be a makeup tutorial kind of but it's basically for me i'm trying to see if i still got it so when I say see if I still got it, I basically mean for those of you guys that don't know, I have done makeup in the past. I was a makeup artist. Before I started my clothing company on my beauty line, I was a makeup artist in college. I had a lot of clients. I did prom. I did weddings. I did homecomings. Anything, you name it, I did it. So I basically stopped doing makeup about three years ago. I stopped doing makeup three years ago and I just want to know like can I still do a look like when I say a look I mean a full beat eyeshadow liner everything so I don't know if you guys know if you do follow me on Instagram you know nine times out of ten I do have a natural beat and if I do want something really dramatic I get my makeup done by one of my friends who are still makeup artists so I just want to know like can I still give a look so I had to go into my archives today to find you know my old palette this is an Anastasia OG palette that I have I found my OG Morphe palettes I had to find these things because I haven't used eyeshadow in so long but today I'm trying to give a look so got some new brushes my makeup collection isn't as big as it used to be obviously because I'm not a makeup artist anymore so I'm just gonna be working out of my little makeup bag and let's see what happens let's see i don't know what look i'm going to be doing but i'm just kind of going to go with the flow and hopefully something creative comes to my mind i'm trying not to put too much pressure on myself because i am a little nervous because like i said i have not done a look like this on myself in so long besides that guys i just did my hair you know i told you guys it's quarantine i'm trying to practice my install so that when i come out of quarantine i could just you know you know how to do my hair so i crimped it i'm gonna leave all the details on this hair in the description box this is a wig from my beauty line blink beauty co this wig is two years old i brought it back to life literally like it was just sitting in a bag and i'm like let me wash this i'm gonna install it and i just love the way it turned out you guys let me know in the comments if you guys would like to see a hair wig install tutorial from me next and i will definitely make sure that i record that video for you guys so without further ado let's get into this video so first things first what i like to do when i'm doing my makeup is start by moisturizing my face if you guys watch my skincare video you already know what this product is so i use this during my skincare routine but i also use it when i'm about to to my makeup but this time i'm just gonna put a little bit less well actually i said a little bit less but i did the same amount that's crazy but one thing i definitely believe is that when your face is moisturized you get such a better experience when doing your makeup like my skin is just naturally dry so i have to make sure i moisturize it especially before i do my makeup now that my face is moisturized with this beautiful product now that my skin is moisturized i'm ready to get into my face hold on so one thing i one thing i hate about doing my makeup is if my eyes start to tear oh my god all right so damn i don't even know where to start <laughs> okay i'm gonna start with my eyebrows that's what i normally always start with so i'm just gonna act like i'm just doing a regular beat like what i normally do so I know normally when I'm doing my makeup, I start in my eyebrows. After I do my eyebrows, I think I'm gonna do my eyes. After I do my eyes, I think I'll focus on my face. I'm just gonna, you know, just relax. So first things first, I'm going to start by brushing my brows. You guys know it's quarantine, so please do not judge these Wolverine brows, okay? Please. I refuse to do them. Even though I know how to clean them up, I need another hair clip. I do know how to clean them up, but I just, I want them to kind of grow a little bit more because when I come out of quarantine, I'm just trying to be the baddest bitch possible, okay? So 
So if these eyebrows need to grow back right now, this is the time. So I'm using my MAC Dip Brow, which I have been using for a little while in the color Deep Dark Brunette. It is a little alternative. Like I used to use the Anastasia Dip Brow, but I had to kind of stop using it because my brows are so thick and I already feel like that pomade is super thick. So I feel like it would just make my brows look too, too dark. So I'm going in with this just to fill in my brows the way I like them. Even though my brows are already thick, the ends are super thin. Um, Normally I would use an eyebrow pencil because that is like my preference of what I really like. But um, I don't have that right now and I didn't feel like going to the store. So we're going to use what we got, okay? We're gonna use what we got. So, just fill in the brows. And that is my first step of this process. So, I'm gonna just like also have girl chat with you guys while I do my makeup because I feel like I've never did this on my channel and I love watching videos like this on YouTube. So, you guys are just going to be with me during this process. So, those of you guys who have been following me on Instagram, like, since I've started business, you guys know I was hustling this makeup thing back in 2016, tw well, 2015, 2016, stopped in 2017, got really discouraged from the makeup thing. Like, I just wasn't feeling it anymore, but it's so crazy because makeup really paved the way for me with all my other businesses that I have now like I was doing makeup and that's what made me start selling my lashes me starting to start selling my lashes made me expand into hair me doing hair afforded me the opportunity to sell clothes so makeup was really like my starting point in business so I just really wanted to do this video just to see like can I still be a makeup artist even though I don't want to be but I'm just curious to know like do I still got it so for my concealer for my brows I'm going in with the LA girl pro concealer in the shade fawn this is like almost done I need a new a new bottle so I'm just gonna use this to clean up under my brows So I've been using this concealer forever and I love this concealer because it's affordable and it's just like full coverage, full coverage. This concealer costs about like $3 at the beauty supply store and I've tried other concealers like more expensive brands like NARS, Too Faced, all that and nothing compares to this concealer, I promise you guys. Like, I know a lot of people think, like, oh, I, you know, if they use expensive products, that they're going to get a better turnout with their makeup. And trust me, that is not always the case. Not at all. Not at all. So, once I go in with that makeup, I mean, that concealer, I'm just going to take this blending brush and just blend that all out. So, I'm using that same concealer that I use for my eyebrows just to... Make a base for eyeshadow. It's so crazy now, like while I'm doing my makeup, I'm just thinking about so many things. Like when I first started doing makeup, I never used to have lashes. Like I'll be like, oh my God, I would either have to always go run to the beauty supply store to buy lashes or just do a full beat, no lashes, which I hate that. So it's crazy because me having those situations that's what pushed me to start a lash company back in 2015 and it's just crazy how far I've come since then so I'm just thinking like wow like what if I never started doing makeup Does, would I not have my businesses that I have now like it's just crazy how things work out and then it really just ends up changing your life like it's so crazy I was a sophomore in college I invested in like I think 10 pairs of lashes and I sold those right like I took my check from my job invested into 10 pairs of lashes I'm like all right 
people always used to start asking me like oh what lashes do you use da, 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 da. and i had a vendor that i was going to so i'm like you know i'm gonna take my check for my job get some lashes and basically see if people buy it so just so you guys know i'm using the huda beauty setting powder just to set my eyeshadow base yes yeah, so i bought those lashes and everybody was like oh my god da, 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 da. i want these lashes da, 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 da. so i sold them like $25 each so I made $250 off those 10 lashes that I sold and after that I'm like okay I'll probably do this for a little while and you know see how it goes like it, when I first did it there was like no initial intention of making it into a whole business but it was the response that I got that made me say like all right we about to do this like you know what I mean so at first, like when I first started my business, I'm like, okay, people are buying these lashes, they want these lashes, I'm doing makeup, and I'm gonna just use my product on my customers. So that's kind of how like the whole thing started with my business. Like I was basically in college, I had my job, and I wanted an opportunity to make more money, and I felt like me selling these lashes and doing makeup as my side hustle, it just helped me make more money. And then at one point, it was kind of just like a side hustle, like I said, for me to make more money. Then eventually I started seeing like potential in my business, but I wasn't paying it any mind because like I said, I already had a job. So when I went home one summer, I basically, you know, I told my job, like, you know, I'm going home for the summer. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. I was going to school in, Bar in Maryland. I'm, like, I'm going home for the summer, but when I come back, I, would, I still would like to have my job. So long story short, I came back home from the summer um well I, when i came back home from summer vacation went back to school i no longer had a job like i was no longer in the schedule they didn't technically fire me but they weren't putting me on the schedule so i guess i was still fired so i was trying to find a job i was looking into so many different places and nowhere would hire me so i kind of just took that like a sign from god that you know maybe he's just trying to tell me like Shayna, just focus on what you have going on because it was going well for me, but I wasn't putting my all into it because I was just so focused on my nine to five job. So I applied to so many jobs, got denied, and I'm just like, you know what? I'm going to really just take this makeup thing seriously. So that's when I, it was around homecoming time at school. So I put up like a little flyer where I said, okay, um, if you want your makeup done, $35 for a natural face, $40 for a full beat, like $5 difference, whatever. So I got a great response from that, had everybody were rocking my lashes for homecoming, I did their makeup, and after that I'm just like, all right, you know, maybe I'm really about to take this seriously. And at that point around homecoming, it was already going into like my one year anniversary of when I started the little lash hustle. So before I continue my story, I'm gonna go into my transitions to Jade, which is gonna be this color on the palette for my eyeshadow. I'm not sure what I'm doing yet, but we gonna see what happens. So at this point, I was already going into my one year anniversary of my business, or well, my hustle, like I said. And I'm like, all right, maybe I should do like a sale, like with the lashes, because at this point I had more inventory and I had more clientele, but I just, you know I was just still going with the flow so basically I put up a sale the night of my anniversary which is November 12th it was November 12th 2016 I will never forget I got the flyer made on my friend and I'm like okay I'm gonna drop this flyer at midnight and let people know that all lashes on my site are gonna be 20 no $12 so at this point i was like broke i had nothing really going on because i didn't have a job i just had like my little makeup hustle that i was doing just trying to make that work and just figure that out so dropped the flyer and next morning woke up i had over two grand in my paypal account at this time right i've never seen that much money in my bank account so it was kind of just like oh this was that's what just happened like that's what just happened like this is lit like so it was that moment where i'm like all right why am i not taking my business seriously why am i playing myself why am i doubting myself why do i have all these questions about why i shouldn't do something it was that moment when i was like you know we about to take this business serious and ever since then 
Blink Lashes turned to Blink Beauty. Blink Beauty branched off into Renee, my clothing site. And I just say all this to say, like, if you have, like, anything that you feel like you want to do but you're doubting yourself, do it scared. Just do it. Just do it. Figure it out. Don't wait for things to be perfect. Business will never be perfect when you first start. Trust me, like, if I could show you guys, like, how my business like branding first look when i started it was compared to now it was bad but at the at the moment i was just you know using what i got you know what i mean to get what i want so it's just so crazy that's why i really wanted to do this video because it's just, it just kind of like brings back memories of like where i started and of course i'm nowhere that i really want to be right now but I definitely see growth within myself within the years so it's just so much to think about like when you start a business never forget where you started and always remember your why because that's gonna get you where you're going so so continuing on my story after I um you know made that kind of money I was just so like surprised because you know when you work a regular I was working a, a simple retail job that I loved at the time but I never was making that kind of money. Like I was making my regular minimum wage checks. So the fact that I made that money on my website on my own, it was a big deal to me. Like it was just like a, a wow moment. So after that, a year later, well, a year and a half later, I decided to add extensions to my website because people would always ask me like oh i love your hair da, 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 da. and i also had a vendor for that i'm the kind of person that i'm always looking into vendors just because i don't personally feel like having to try things from different people because people never used to really have the things that i needed so i would always have to find them myself so i added hair to my site and then blink lashes turned into blink beauty and i really just want to say the rest is history that moment of me not having a job and knowing I had a skill in doing makeup at the time turned me into the person that I am today. And that's why it's important to never forget all the moments here in your life that got you where you are. Always stay humble, always remember your journey, always just be just grateful for everything that you basically have going on. So I'm just basically trying to remember all my skills that I used to use back in the day because I ain't forget everything, but we gonna get somewhere. I feel like I'm a genuine believer in once you learn something, you never really forget it. You might need to brush up on it, but you never forget like how to do stuff. That's like riding a bike, you know? Once you learn how to ride a bike and once you learn how to drive, you're never gonna forget how to do that. I'm just using this brown shade in my crease. Also, I didn't like start my business with a whole bunch of money. Like I didn't have anybody like investing into my business and giving me, you know, basically everything that I needed. I really just started my business and grew my business all off of like a flip. So it's like, say I had $200, I would put that $200 into lashes, right? And if I made two grand, off of that 200 investment which is not really possible but just speaking hypothetically say i made that kind of money off that investment i would take back that 200 dollars and match it so i would have 400 dollars. so now i'll make a 400 dollar investment and flip that again so it's all about like a flip and you have to just have that discipline like i know a lot of people that start businesses and then they start going crazy they want to buy nice things of course you know treat yourself every now and then but if you're not putting it back into your business it's like you're not gonna really see your business grow the way that you necessarily would want it to grow and I had to learn that over the years because honestly like I used to go crazy and just buy bags shoes this that I mean I would always throw my money back into my business but now that I'm older I'm like just way more responsible like you really have to be disciplined enough to know that okay I could wait this bag could wait these shoes could wait until I really get my shit where I want it to be. So you gotta just really be responsible. Like I know a lot of people always wanna ask me like, oh, how do you do this, how do you do that? But it's really a learning process. Like you're not gonna just have a perfect business overnight. Like that's never 
going to happen like unless you are like somebody already like rich and famous and you have that you know foundation it's never gonna just be perfect and even if you do have that foundation i feel like you're still gonna have situations where you're just gonna be going through things that you're just gonna have to learn the natural way so that's just my advice for people out there that have businesses and just don't think things are going their way things are just never gonna just go your way like life is not that easy we're always gonna go through something so now i think i'm gonna do a cut crease yeah i think i'm gonna do a cut crease look so i'm gonna go in with that concealer that i was using earlier for my brows and my eyeshadow base just to start to form it's crazy because when this quarantine thing started i definitely said that one thing i did want to get more practice on was makeup like i used to literally love doing my makeup and i just haven't really done it in a while so i'm really actually happy that i'm doing this video right now it's just so therapeutic to me right now so that is my first eye i am about to just do my second eye and then we're gonna figure out what we doing after that now that um i cut my crease okay so now that i cut my crease i need to you know continue the process guys do you guys have faith in me leave a comment in my comments right now and let me know if you guys have faith in this makeup process that I got going on. Oh, so I'm gonna go in with some color. I'm gonna go in with a pop of purple. Cause we about to just bring some color to this look real quick, okay? So I'm adding some color into my corner. I really don't know what kind of look I'm doing. Like when I tell you guys I'm just going with the flow. Please trust me, believe me. That's what's happening right now. All right, just gonna add this purple and blend it out. And then we don't see how that's looking. And listen guys, I do not like color. So I'm also just like coming out of my comfort zone with this makeup because you know, why not? It's just like a little experiment that I'm doing. Keep building that color up. Okay, y'all can see it? Okay. And I'm using my Morphe palette to get this color going. how it's looking so far i'm actually feeling it i'm gonna add the same thing to the other eye i like to do like my eyes like together like as i go because i don't want to forget what colors i use and what techniques i use it just makes it so much easier for me this way okay shayna okay all right i see you sis I'm just gonna continue blending this out and then we're gonna figure out what color is coming next for my lid. Mix of these two colors. These two colors is what I'll be using. You know what? I'm gonna use my finger for this because I think that's what I used to do. It just comes out better with my finger. It used to be something that I did to apply shimmer shadows i don't know if i used to wet the brush it's something i used to do and i really don't remember guys see i need to brush up and then when you just get the look that you're going for you can stop but i think that's good for me so i'm gonna do the same exact thing to the other eye So another thing I don't have right now either is lash glue, but you know, we always could improvise. I'm going to use 
hair glue. Don't judge me. If you guys hear the sirens, it's because, listen, the coronavirus going on right now, that's all you really hear right now. Like, it seems like everybody's just going to the hospital and it's just so upsetting. So I'm just making sure my lashes is good. These are actually lashes that I've already used from my company, of course, Blink Beauty Lashes. So these lashes are in the style Hollywood. You can find them on my website. I will be restocking soon. So look out for that. So I'm gonna just use these lashes and just make sure they're good for my eye, which they should be because I've used them. But sometimes I always feel like I still need to cut them. These lashes are long but that's how I like it so since I'm using lash glue they, that dries pretty fast so let me make sure I have everything ready to go so I'm going in with some mascara for my eyes and I'm just gonna just help my natural lashes blend with my lashes and I'm just gonna put some glue onto the lash and get ready to apply them of course you got to get your tweezer to apply your lashes i don't know what you guys use but i use tweezers so my trick to putting on my lashes is using a mirror and looking down into the mirror while i put on my lashes so that is exactly what i'm gonna do right now just want the glue to dry a little bit more so i don't have any issues when i put them on okay i don't know if y'all could tell on the camera but this shadow guys is looking pretty good and i'm using color so i'm just like wow who am i okay one of my lashes are on and you guys see like how lashes just make a big difference like look at this side and then look at the side like it just does something to my eyes okay i'm gonna start now by cleaning off any excess makeup that fell onto my face just with some water like because you know i did shimmer shadow so i know i had some fallout so basically gonna start with that once my face is clean, I'm gonna go in with this Smashbox Primer. It is the phone Photo Finish Primer. Definitely recommend this primer. I've been using this like since I've been doing my makeup. I think this is the only primer that I use. I don't have any complaints about it. It works perfect for my skin. You guys know I have dry skin. So I'm going in with that primer. Ours foundation in the color new caledonia you guys already know i love this foundation you guys already know these products that i'm using especially if you already checked out my natural makeup routine so this is the foundation that i've been using for a year now i love this i love this i love this so i'm using this foundation brush by morphe this is the m439 foundation brush so let's go Alright, so now that I've went in with my foundation, it's time for me to highlight and contour. You guys know I love, love, love this part of doing my makeup. So, I'm just going to make sure this foundation is just all blended in. Now, I'm going to go back in with that same concealer that I use for my brows, my eyeshadow base, everything. This LA Girl Pro Concealer, trust me. It's good for everything. I definitely, definitely, definitely recommend it. All right, we are highlighting. And I'm going for a real, like, beat look. So I'm kind of going in with the concealer. Because this is just, like, what I used to do back in the day, okay? This is what I used to do, so... You just going back into my old tips and tricks real quick. So I just highlighted all my areas, which is under my, you know, cheeks, chin, 
over here, up here. So now that that's all done, I'm gonna go in with my contour. Alright, so now I'm going to go on my beauty blender and blend all this in. So I'm going to start with my highlighter, guys. So I can't believe I'm really beating my face like this. It's been so long, literally. I'm just happy that I'm really doing everything that I said I was going to do during quarantine. Because on a regular day, I would not even have the time to sit down and play around in makeup. So it's like, this is just so therapeutic to me, just sitting here and doing this. It's just like, I actually miss doing this, but it's been a little minute since I've done any type of a look like this. Like if you guys go on my Instagram, which you should be following me, and if you're not, I'm gonna drop my Instagram right here. If you go on my Instagram, you the only time you're gonna see a look with any type of eyeshadow or anything, I didn't do that my friends do that for me they push me to put color they push me to do eyeshadow like once i mastered a natural face it was over after that like We're gonna let this makeup bake for a little bit. And while my makeup is baking, we are gonna put some eyeliner on my waterline. So I'm just gonna use a regular black Anastasia dip brow for my liner. Nothing crazy, just want a little bit of a pop. I love putting eyeliner on my waterline black because it just makes my eyes just pop, pop, pop. Mmm, get into it, baby. All right. Now for my contour, I'm going to go in with this Fenty Beauty bronzer. I love this for my contour. I was using different products before, but since I started using this, I just can't go back because it's just it's perfect for my skin. Perfect. So this is in the shade Mocha Mommy. So we're gonna just contour and just add some like you know color to my face where the powder may have washed me out. But this is a full beat, so I'm also going in with that on my nose. Like, this is real beat, beat, beat. Like, we really doing the full works, okay? We doing everything. So, with this highlighter, since it's a loose powder, a little bit definitely goes a long way. So, I'm just gonna go in with that. I'm gonna get some glow, baby. So, yeah. I see that it's a little bit like very little we're not trying to be a glazed donut we are approaching the end of the look and I'm getting so excited so now I need to go on with some blush because a full beat is not complete without blush so I'm using NARS blush in the shade orgasm which is my favorite this shade is just ugh, guys if you don't have this blush in your makeup kit, all I'm going to say is go get that, okay? Just go get that. Face is basically complete. All I really have to do is my lips. But I do want to go into my eyes and just add like a pop of color in the corner. I think 
that's what's definitely missing from this look right now. Okay, what you guys think? I think yes. <laughs> I think yes. I think that's what was missing. And I needed that. So now that that's done, I'm just going to add some mascara to my bottom lashes. Um, I did want to do bottom lashes for you guys, but I don't have any. You know what I'm saying? Okay, bottom mascara is applied. So, I'm going to go in with some lip gloss for my lips. Let me wipe them off for any, like, makeup. that hardly got caught in my lips while I was doing it. So, I'm not really, like, a big lip liner fan. So, I'm just going to go straight in with this Nude Cosmetics Lip Gloss. This is in the shade 97. It's, like, the perfect nude lip gloss. So, I'm going to go in with this for my lips. And I'm just going to add, like, several layers of this. Like, several. If you guys are feeling this look, let me know in the comments. Please. So... This is basically the final look, guys. Um, I am actually very impressed because it don't look too bad. Like, I actually really like it. I would definitely, if I was going anywhere, if there was somewhere to go, I would go outside with this makeup on right now. Wow. Wow. All right, guys. This is the final look. Thank you guys for tuning into this video. Like, I am surprised that my face is this beat right now like you know I did the shadow I did everything highlight contour everything I went back into my old makeup roots for this video and I'm just so happy I did this it was so therapeutic I just felt like I was jumping back into my old self I'm so glad I had the time to make this video for you guys I hope you guys enjoyed if you did like it please give this video a thumbs up like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I have more videos on the way. Thanks, guys. See you in my next video.